Arkansas Treasure. Well, you can't play if you don't pay. The city of Heber Springs will soon charge a fee to access Sandy Beach, which is connected to Groose Ferry Lake. This will be the first time a payment is required, and some people are pretty outspoken yeah. about it. Gary Burton Jr. joins us in studio after speaking with the mayor on why exactly this decision was made. Gary. Yeah, the mayor says this decision to charge $5 per car to enter Sandy Beach is in an effort to make it more of a park like atmosphere as there has been some issues with behavior and trash in the past. Now some people they understand while others are kicking the sand. I've been coming here since I was a little girl. I've been coming here since I was in high school. I do like this area. Sandy Beach in Heber Springs. It's a popular area to enjoy Greer's Ferry Lake. We come every year and it's always a blast. But according to Heber Springs Mayor Casey Griffin, in a couple of weeks it won't be free to access the beach as kiosks have been installed to process your payment. You know, everything costs so much all the time anyways. Just, just let us enjoy it. It's a bummer, but at the same time, um, Maybe it's a good thing. $5 per car for the day, or you can pay 40 bucks for a full year pass. To so it cost us 15 bucks to get in today. The mayor says this decision was made to help with the disorderly conduct at Sandy Beach, like out of control parties and people leaving their trash behind. I'm not tearing things up, so why should I have to be charged for everybody else being idiots? <laughs> I don't think it's bad. I mean, we'll still come. I don't think imposing a fee is going to it's going to necessarily fix things. Mayor Griffin says the money will go towards improvements within the park and the Parks and Recreation Department. I understand the frustration, but it's five dollars, <laughs> you know. Leave it like you found it. That's been the rule forever. And the mayor says the kiosk was just installed this week, and the reason the city is waiting a couple of weeks to operate it is so that the public can have some time to prepare for the change. She did not provide a specific date. In studio, I'm Gary Burton Jr., KRK4 News.